The next award is for Architectural Hardscape. It is the Lock 8 Skate and BMX Park that was built in Port Colborne. Would the following team members come forward? The City of Port Colborne, Land Dink, Blackwell Structure Engineers, Patterned Concrete Ontario, Dufferin Concrete, a division of Wholesome Canada Inc., Tricon Concrete Finishing Company Limited. Port Colborne features one of the most unique, colorful, and well-designed skate parks in Ontario. Located beside Lock 8 Canal, Port Colborne, this waterway houses drawbridges and traffic along the Port Welland Canal. The ship design brings an old world feeling with a strong visual interest on the banks of Lake Erie. Utilizing the natural surroundings and marine influences, the designers incorporated design elements to represent the large ships that the canal hosts on a daily basis. The type of cast-in-place construction offers high versatility for design, color, and longevity. By using Short Creek concrete in constructing the banks and transitions of this skate park, its longevity for skateboard enthusiasts will be enjoyed for many years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners. Evening, everybody. My name is Dino D'Ambrosio. I'm with Pattern Concord Ontario. Thank you to the Ontario Concord Awards, <clears throat> its panel of judges, and the Ready Mix Association. We at Pattern Concord and Land Inc. are honored to receive this award for the installation of the Lock 8 Skate Park located in Port Colborne, Ontario. Through communication and due process with the town and officials of Port Colborne, Land Inc. was able to capture the idea and develop plans to build a unique and useful skate park. Skate park enthusiasts will be able to enjoy this park for decades. The beauty of this park is also reflected in the details, stainless steel components, railings, copings, and areas of intricate elements. The influence of the skate park was from the Algo port ship that sank off the coast of Japan in 2009. Land Inc, taking the surroundings and marine influence, were able to bring elements into the plans that represented and mimicked the larger ships using the canal on a daily basis. The Pro and Compass Detailing enhance the whole project while adding challenge and visual appeal for the skaters and BMX riders alike. Its peak-like feature required stainless steel to be cast into concrete while with strict specifications that governed the entire project. The park features a 3.3 meter deep oververt ledge nestled among the landing pad to replicate the stern of a boat with each feature concrete banks, ramps, creating additional challenges for the users. Landing leading the consulting team and partnering with Pattern Concrete Ontario Inc. were jointly responsible for the 1100 square meter project that was constructed. With tolerances to flat plane being no more than three millimeter over three meters, the finishing and true flatness proved to be the most important detail for all riders. As an improvement to the urban scape, this project exhibits elements that easily blend with tradition and the surrounding landscape. This flush design will provide years of enjoyment for the youth of Port Colborne. The skilled craftsmen and team at Pattern Concord Ontario Inc. were successful in realizing this vision through the use of drawings and specs for this project and effectively deliver a product that exceeded the design's intent. Through our experience, ability and knowledge of our materials, we were able to simulate colors with concrete in the same fashion that the Algoma steel ship prows and sterns still navigate through the Canada day every day. Challenge and complexity mirrored and sometimes dominant ability and innovation during the course of the project. But in the end, it was its balance that yielded a success on all aspects of such an improvement. From our first project with Landing 10 years ago, we are truly proud to belong to this elite specialized craft in Ontario and across Canada. We'd like to thank Landing and Blackwell Engineering for providing an innovative and inspiring design. Uh, Jim Huppinen, Steph Hussey, Chris Lee at the town of Port Colborne, and everyone involved from the city. Thank you to Joe Katzman and Dufferin Custom Concrete for providing their service, to Concreation Canada and Simon Nugent for providing customized products used in this project, specifically matching the company colors of Algoma. Thank you to Spectrum Skate Park, uh, V. Gibbons, and their part of their project. Uh, we'd also obviously like to thank the uh, team at Pattern Concrete Ontario Inc. and Joe Guida and the rest of the crew, and of course, Tricon Concrete Finishing and their staff for their support. But ultimately, We'd like to thank the industry and its peers for allowing and encouraging innovation. Thank you.